How's it going, bros? My name is PewDiePie. I'm only teasing. It's it's Leon Lush, and today we're going to be talking about PewDiePie, though. And uh, I wanted to talk with what the fuck is. Nothing to see here. Um. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Leon Lush and welcome to another video. As always, I am overwhelmed with splendor that you would decide to sit with me for a few minutes here for this video. Now, I want to first off apologize uh, for the intro and Nigel's decision to make a joke that was in such poor taste. That's poor taste. So I decided to go ahead and load him up with a uh, Joby Gorilla Pod, just so he's, you know, while I'm doing the video and he's in the background, he can't do any more of this Sieg Heil comedy, right? This Nazi Germany comedy that uh, has become so taboo as of the past six to seven months. And the whole issue with PewDiePie, which is the reason I'm making this video today, I wanted to talk a little bit about PewDiePie and his most recent upload titled, I guess this needed to be said. Now, for those of you that are a part of the YouTube community and you follow PewDiePie, you're probably pretty aware of what happened several months ago. I believe it was February uh, when he all of a sudden had a target on his back and a lot of mainstream media outlets started writing articles about how PewDiePie was a Nazi sympathizer or a Nazi supporter. And he was like this secret fucking Nazi spreading propaganda because of a couple of jokes he made uh, throughout a few of his different videos. And I'm not going to really call out any in particular mainstream media outlets, uh, but let's just say there was a couple in one in particular that really seemed like they had it out, like they had a, a target on PewDiePie's back. I'm not going to name who that is. <gasps> You probably already know. So he went through a lot of shit, right? He lost his Disney contract. He had a whole YouTube Red series scrapped uh, because all of a sudden, this mainstream media had painted him as kind of this fucking, this Nazi, this sympathizer, this internet criminal that has 55 million subscribers and he's spreading all of this propaganda because of a fucking, you know, like a, a Hitler meme or something that he would put in his videos. Now. For PewDiePie fans, this was ridiculous because people know PewDiePie. They know he's a good, genuine dude. He just likes to make a little couple of edgy jokes once in a while. But all of a sudden, he was being exposed to this massive audience of normies who were like, Oh my fucking God! <laughs> PewDiePie put a... <laughs> PewDiePie put a picture of Hitler doing a Sea Heil in his video and he reacted to it. He's a Nazi! PewDiePie is a Nazi! No. No, Pewdie PewDiePie is not a Nazi. He's, he's, he's not a Nazi. But with the recent violent... <sighs> Fuck. Take two. But with the recent violence in Charlotte's... <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I like to just keep in fucked up takes. I don't know why. Nigel, what are you fucking... You better not be seagulling me. Piece of shit. But with the recent violence in Charlottesville, I think uh, PewDiePie thought it was necessary to kind of touch on the subject again because, you know, Nazism in America is kind of in the forefront of the news again. Uh, and he basically made a video stating that he's not gonna, he's no longer, he's no longer going to make jokes uh, around, you know, anti-Semitism, Nazism, white supremacy, blah, blah, blah. And there's been a little bit of a mixed bag of reactions, you know, people saying, oh, he's censoring himself, right? We have this freedom of speech. You should be able to make jokes. And then the people are like, yeah, you know what? Maybe that's, maybe that's a good idea. Maybe even if you aren't a Nazi, maybe if you, uh, you know, don't support the Nazi movement, you should, you shouldn't joke about it when you're on a platform so big because you're just bringing attention to it. I don't, and then there's a lot of people in between. So I just wanted to, uh, to, to, just to touch on that. <laughs> touch on that. And we can uh, watch a couple clips and then we'll talk about it. This is sort of an update video. I wanted to talk about a couple things. But first of all, 
Hey, remember remember that one thing uh, happening in February? <laughs> Yeah, that thing where you get dragged through the mud by a bunch of dying mainstream media outlets desperate for some clicks to try and save a shred of relevancy, yeah. We remember that. You may have seen uh, all the stuff uh, that's happening, especially in, in uh, Charlottesville. A bunch of uh, white supremacists got together and uh, uh, started doing what uh, white supremacists do. And uh, it sort of gave me uh, a little bit of perspective because technically I got grouped in with these people somehow. I made a joke about it. I'm like, these guys clearly watched one too many PewDiePie videos. It, it, it's a joke on my expense, but it sort of gave me some, my own perspective of like, Jesus Christ, I actually got grouped in with these people. I'm just ma I'm just a guy making jokes on the internet. Now it seems like Felix, after seeing the violence in Charlottesville and kind of this realization that there are people and you know not a lot i think it's it, we probably think there's more than there are because of the media coverage that they get uh but that share this nazi ideology that this white supremacy this ethno state ideology is alive and well and charlottesville was an example of that and i think for him he was like holy shit maybe you know i think for a lot of people like him and myself a lot of normal people right the idea of the Nazi ideology still having a pulse in today's age is so fucking ridiculous, so outlandish that it seems okay to joke about, right? Because who who actually is this fucking stupid and close-minded and uneducated and fucking flat out retarded that you that you're gonna walk around with a Nazi swastika flag or a Confederate flag and try and it just, it's fucking, it's insane, right? So I think that was his kind of line of thinking for however long leading up to this where it's just like, it's crazy, it's okay to joke about it. And then he saw this kind of, uh, this demonstration and these people marching with these Nazi swastika flags. Uh, and I think he was like, all right, maybe there's, a, there's actually people that think, that think like this. This is fucking ridiculous. So I don't want to have anything to do with them. I don't want to even mistakenly be lumped into the same category as them, and I'm gonna stop making Nazi jokes. And I think for someone that has 56 million YouTube subscribers, you have a lot of influence, you're, you're basically the most, you are the most popular YouTuber on the planet, you might have to be a little more cognizant of how, what you do and what you say is going to be perceived, right? Because you see this all the time with popular people, uh, celebrities, internet celebrities, where intention is so much different than perception and i think pewdiepie realizes that and he's like you know what i don't even even if my intention is to make a joke if my intention is just to make light of the situation clearly if you know me you know i'm not a nazi but the perception could possibly be that i sympathize with this group or that i'm a part of this group or that i i am a fucking nazi myself uh even though that's completely false i don't want to even risk being lumped into that category I only have hate for hateful people. Amen, brother. It doesn't really help the case, the fact that uh, apparently every one of them seems to fucking look like me. Like, I thought there was a Photoshop of my face as a parody, but no, it's real. I was one of the people. And uh, here, here's another one of them. So I thought now would be a good time as any to just say, I want nothing to do with the, these people. It was a little humorous and very coincidental that some of the images of these white supremacists circulating on the internet, specifically Twitter, for some reason, look just like PewDiePie. Also, shout out to my boy Elvis the Alien who uh, just made it into a PewDiePie video accidentally. At this point, I really just want to distance myself from all this because seeing it as well, I, I remember back when everything happened in February, I was sort of like, I mean, they're just jokes. There's not actual Nazis out there. What are you, what are you talking about? And then I... I look at this and I'm like, oh, oh, okay, I see. That, okay, well, if if for some reason Nazis think it's uh, great that I'm making these jokes, I don't want to give them that benefit. So I'm gonna stop doing it. I'm Nazi memes. They're not even that funny anymore. It's sort of a dead meme. Now a lot of people are complaining that oh PewDiePie, but if you censor yourself, then you're letting you're letting the SJWs win. And if you if you censor and you stop being edgy, then then the mainstream media that dragged your name through the mud now you're giving them the power back. Uh, I I don't know. I don't necessarily see it that way. I think he's just realizing, and as we all are realizing, that this this whole you know 
unease, this whole unrest in the United States right now caused by this ideology of an ethno state or these white supremacists, which again, I think is being blown, not out of proportion, but I think the media is kind of giving it legs. It's giving it power. It's a very small percentage of our country that I think actually feel this way. But it's in the headlines, it's in the news, it's a hot topic right now. So I think Felix is just like, fuck it. I don't want to be taken out of context or accidentally mistaken as somebody who thinks this is cool. So I'm just going to fucking, I'm just going to hold off. I'm just going to stop, uh, you know, making jokes about it because it's been misconstrued in the past and will probably happen again. And I think for, for that decision, I mean, more power to you if that's, the, if that's the route you want to take. Listen, edgy jokes, edgy humor is not going anywhere. It is the cornerstone of internet culture. Uh, but I think as a larger creator like Felix or a lot of other people on the internet, uh, it's important to sometimes logically think through, you know, what you're saying, how you're saying it, uh, the type of content you're putting out and how it will be received, I guess, by people outside of your fan base that know who you are. And I'm not saying this should dictate your decision making. I'm just saying it's good to think critically about what you're doing and how it may affect uh, other people in your audience and those beyond your immediate audience. Uh, and then decide accordingly, you know, you weigh the good with the bad. Is this particular topic worth talking about? Is this joke funny? And we all love edgy humor, right? But there's a thin line between edgy funny and edgy tasteless. And a lot of people just do edgy tasteless to try and elicit a reaction out of people because that's all they have to offer. But uh, PewDiePie's always been really good at walking that line. I've always, uh, I'm not afraid to, to admit I'm a fucking bro fister, right? I've always enjoyed PewDiePie off and on over the years. And I think the reason I, I, I respect him a lot is because he seems to me for being the biggest YouTuber and with how much fucking fake garbage people there are on this website, PewDiePie seems pretty authentic, down to earth, and he's the type of dude where you watch him and you're not, you're not thinking, is this really what this guy's like? Like, sure, he puts on a little bit of a show, he's a little crazy, right, to entertain, that's fine, but he seems very authentic, like, this is him, he's not catering or pandering, he's just, he's just being fucking pewds, and, uh, and I respect that. So, what do you think? <sighs> about this whole situation. Do you think that PewDiePie should say, fuck you, I'm not censoring myself and continue to blast Nazi jokes on the regular? Or do you think maybe this was a good time for him to reconsider uh, that style of humor and maybe move on to, to something else? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you, as always, for watching this. We're going to just scroll down real quick, just to, to the comment section of this video to see what other people have to say about... Uh, <laughs> PewDiePie's decision to stop being a Nazi. Why can't I be proud to be white? Why can't I advocate white interests just like all other races do? Uh, this is a this is a touchy one. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one alone. Hells want white countries to be white hateful. The West must remain white. Okay, you're just you're 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 an uneducated idiot. <laughs> I HATE YOU! How the fuck can you hate PewDiePie? It's PewDiePie. Shave your beard! I, for one, am kind of digging it. I hope he just lets it grow into like a long, gnarly mess. Can someone subscribe me? If you're a good YouTuber, I might subscribe you. Good luck, guys! <laughs> What? It's too bad he's already influenced a lot of his audience to make the stupid, inappropriate jokes. Uh, this one's a little too real for me. Uh. And lastly, my friend Kip K. Kip K says, Most subscribed YouTube channel in history, author of channel, uses Android phone camera. <laughs> Which, it's act that's actually true. The, the audio quality was absolute shit in this video. 56 million subs. Shit, I gotta love it. Fucking. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments down below. And thank you so much for all the support recently. I just passed 50,000 subscribers this morning. And that has me harder than quantum calculus. If you... 
if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, it is it is a massive erection. Listen, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I hope you'll also forgive Nigel for his poor taste at the beginning of this video. I'm gonna give him a chance to redeem himself. Nigel, do you have anything else you'd like to say before we sign off? See Kyle. <laughs> well, I'm, okay, I'm just gonna have to edit that one out, Nigel. You're officially not going to be in this one, you fucking scoundrel scumbag piece of shit. Fucking. We're not allowed to joke like that anymore, Nigel. You. You. You.